Test, 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 test. Cool. All right, everybody. Wow. I just want to say I've been so excited to see all these performances today. So let's let's give it up for Tristero Noise Fest, right? Yeah, thank you so much to Greg for hosting. Um, so I, I'm gonna, uh, my name is Matthew Doyle, um, and I am the CEO and founder of Day in the Life of a Coffee Bean. Yeah. Now, let me ask you all a question. It's not a rhetorical question. I'd love some audience interaction. Who here loves coffee? All right, give it up. Love that. Who here loves technology and social networking with your friends? Okay, we got some 50-50, but hear me out. What if there was a social network that allowed you to be a coffee bean? Okay, so you're with me. I'm, just, I'm not getting as much of this pushback as I was a second ago. <laughs> So we're an early, uh, we're a seed A, uh, Sequoia Capital, kind of pre-financing, you know, 3.2 roughly, if not under, company. Um, we're accelerating, sometimes decelerating, but currently kind of in a, we're on the track, I guess, is what you could say, towards <laughs> making potentially what you could, would, would eventually be a social network that exists inside virtual reality that kind of covers roughly the ground that I've described to all of you so far. And, you know, when, I, I would be remiss to not introduce my head of partnerships and barista development guru all around genius, Yuhao Jiang. Let's give it up for Yuhao. Thank you. And, so, I prepared some, some brief remarks. How brief? Uh, they're, they're super brief. Um, <laughs> they say that virtual reality, how many people have tried on a virtual reality headset? That's cool, okay, so we got some early adopters. They say that virtual reality is the empathy machine. And by that, they mean that it offers you the potential to embody the perspective of somebody else. So I'm sitting at home, drinking a cup of Tristero coffee, and I'm thinking to myself, like, what would I do with virtual reality? And I think to myself, I know what I'd do. A day in the life of a coffee bean. What's that like? You know, what's, what's that feel like? Turns out, it doesn't feel very good. A coffee bean's life is short and very painful when it's being ground up. I mean, actually, I think the set we just witnessed is probably does a better job than, than I could at showing that intensity of the coffee brewing experience. So I thought, okay, well, what, you know, what, what would it be like to be a coffee bean? Uh, how should I develop this? So I went to my friend Greg and I said, Greg, you got to help me. We, we want to figure out a way to, to create this experience. And he, he suggested this event, this harsh noise event. So we thought, how are we going to 
sy synergize the harsh noise with the tech startup energy. And so you, how and I, we, 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 we put on a different hat. I think that's a big part of being a part of a tech, a lean tech startup like ours is you got to wear a lot of hats. So we did our best to kind of put, you know, we listened to some merits bow and we, you know, listened to some, like that was one of the first things that came up when I, when I Googled what kind of these events are like. And I Googled train tracks. I Googled, you know, uh, trash. <laughs> and, um, we, we, we came up with something for all of you, and so today's performance, I, I don't want to, I don't want to take up any more space, but, you know, t today's performance is, is focusing on the experience of being ground. <laughs> ground up into little pieces.
Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Greg. Show's over. Me and Chris are going home. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see any reason to be. Phew. <laughs> I'm going to go to the dive.